today I want to show you how you can basically just copy and paste Figma designs into a vibe coding tool called Uware, where you can basically just create your own custom designs in Figma and you don't even have to like use some type of plugin or you don't have to, you know, do some type of anything complicated with code, you just have to copy and paste uh, the URL of the specific frame that you are selecting into this uh, basic chat box. And if you don't believe me, you can also go ahead and try for yourself. The link is down in the description below, youware.com. So like with all great vibe coding tools, we start off with a little chat box in the middle of the, of the UI. And down here, we have this MCP tool where you can add different types of MCPs. And basically what an MCP is, it's a model context protocol. And I like to think of it as kind of like an API um, between a database or some type of app and an AI. In this case, it's going to be between Figma and Uware. So I have this one selected, but if you want to add Figma, you'd have to go here and click on the plus sign. And basically it's going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. This, for example, is for the Notion integration. So it's going to ask, it's going to show you how to get this code, right? And step-by-step -step with these nice screenshots and you plug in the code here, click on save, and then boom, you're done. You're going to have it right over here. And by the way, with the free version of Uware, you can do up to five free tasks which is pretty great, right? So I'm gonna show you how far this gets you um, when you're using a free version like this. And once we're inside of Figma, we can go ahead and search the Figma community if we don't have a design. So we can search for like SAS page and we can choose one that we like. For example, this one looks pretty cool. Let's click on open in Figma. And then once we're in, we have this page to ourselves and we have this nice home page. and we can kind of dive deep and you can see that this is built with a auto layout, which basically helps us a lot when it comes to responsive design. And so in order to bring this into Uware, what you can do is just quite simply just select this and right click, copy link to selection, and that's it. And then all you have to do is just go back to Chrome and paste it over here. And once you do that, we can go ahead and submit this. And then basically after just one try, we get something identical to what we have Again, it's a little bit different. Um, there's a few things that need, you know, some touching, but it's it's totally fine, um, right? Uh, you can add, you know, functionality to the buttons. You can, you know, change a few things. So for example, if you wanted to change this input, you can change it like that. If you wanted to make certain sections wider, or if you wanted to change the colors, for example, you'd have to just add some, some little touches here and there. And then for example, you can turn this into a website for a plumbing business so you can actually get your design and you know keep the whole style of it but change the actual niche for example or the you know the whole strategy of of who the website is for so yeah basically it even you know changes the different text for the services that a plumbing company would provide as different call to actions um adjust the color to something more of like a water service type of business right we have these different blog posts like this template has at the very bottom right and it also kind of understands the whole logic of certain sections. So for example, here we have something looking like this and it knows that it kind of has to expand uh, like it does over here, right? Now, something interesting about Uware that I really like is this boost feature. I actually have another video about this. So we can go ahead and click this to see, you know, this design getting boosted, uh, your design to previous versions, right? Like with any other AI tool out there, this one has it as well. And basically once you're done, you know, you can publish this, you have different, you know, we're, we're almost done with our free tasks for today, but just with this free version, you could already start doing things like this and opening a new tab and opening it here basically and seeing this version live, right? And you can see that I've built it. Um, you can remix it as well and so on and so forth. You can also react to it if you like it or not. Um, so that's pretty cool as well. So it's basically also this social aspect to it as well as well social aspect meaning that if you scroll down here in the home in the, in the hero section or in the home page sorry um, you can basically see other designs um, that people have built as well some of them have brought them from from figma for example click on some of these things and you can also see how many people have viewed it and obviously it's not only landing pages and websites that you can bring in from from figma you can also bring in like more advanced stuff so for example, you can bring in some type of artwork that you've made in Figma and you can make a game out of it, like something like this, right? So this person actually made a game 
that um, you know you have to get away from this little red guy and collect these little gifts. Um, and you can basically set up or create the different UI elements. For example, you can create the, the cursor, you can create these little gifts or boxes inside of Figma and um, import them into Uware uh, and basically build a game off of this. And like I said before, it's not only Figma that you can import, you can also import things like Notion, GitHub, YouTube, so search videos, captions, and channel data, um, Firecrawl for basically web scraping, Unsplash, Flux AI, and much more. So if you have any other you know video ideas that I should you know focus on, maybe something with Google Maps or something with Notion or with YouTube, please let me know in the comments below so I can, you know, do a video on that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Feel free to, you know, test this out, bring in a design from Figma, something from the community and build something here in year where it... But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it from my side. You know, feel free to bring in some type of design in Figma, whether it be a landing page, website, or even some abstract, you know, cool graphic that you find or that you create. And bring it over here to you where you know you can eventually build a website or you can build a game or you can build some interactive website or some web app or some little section it's all here for you to try out and what i love about these vibe coding tools is that you know it's basically like a little workshop for you to learn how to um, build stuff without code so yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video today thank you so much for watching